Good morning everyone. It's Friday, 27th July and I'm here to read you the top stories of the day. DMK President M Karunanidhi's health suffered a slight setback on Thursday and he's being monitored and treated round the clock at his Gopalpuram residence by a team of doctors and nursing professionals from Kaveri Hospital. Meanwhile, Deputy Chief Minister O Paneer Selvam, accompanied by three senior cabinet colleagues, visited Mr Karunanidhi's house and briefly inquired with his son and leader of opposition MK Stalin about Karunanidhi's health condition. On Thursday evening, Kaveri Hospital issued a press release saying that there was a slight decline in the health of former Chief Minister M Karunanidhi due to age-related ailments. He is currently being treated for fever due to urinary tract infection and is being administered antibiotics. Raising an alarm over the availability of unapproved genetically modified processed food, Delhi-based think tank Center for Science and Environment, the CSE, alleged large-scale illegal sale of such food items in the country. A study conducted by the Advocacy and Research Group found 32% of the total of 65 randomly selected samples tested positive under the genetically modified category. This includes infant food, edible oil and packaged food snacks. Most of these are imported from the United States, Canada, Netherlands, Thailand and the UAE. These products were produced from or contain soya, cotton seed, corn or canola which are known as the GM crops of the world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday met South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and the two leaders discussed ways to expand the bilateral ties in a number of sectors including trade and investment, IT and defence. Following delegation level talks between PM Modi and President Ramaphosa, three MOUs were signed on cooperation in exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes, setting up Gandhi Mandela Center of Specialization for Artisan Skills and Agricultural Research and Education. The Lok Sabha on Thursday passed the Trafficking of Persons, Prevention, Protection and Rehabilitation Bill 2018. The bill lays down a stringent punishment of 10 years to life imprisonment for aggravated forms of trafficking, which include buying or selling of persons for the purpose of bonded labor, bearing a child, as well as those where chemical substances or hormones are administered and a survivor acquires life-threatening illnesses such as AIDS. The bill proposes establishing a National Anti-Trafficking Bureau or NATB for coordinating, monitoring and surveillance of trafficking cases. It also provides for a relief and rehabilitation committee and rehabilitation fund with an initial allocation of Rs 10 crore. The debate over legality of Sabri Mala Ayyappa Temple's custom barring entry of women in the 10 to 50 year age group saw a new twist on Thursday with the Tantri or main priest asking the Supreme Court to weigh between Deva Prasnam interpreting the will of God, supporting the practice and the SC's constitutional queries on women's right to equality. The CJI said we will go by the constitution and its language. Once a temple is a public religious place, it cannot prohibit the entry of women. We're dealing with the core issue of a class of women being denied on the ground of their physiological characteristics. After allowing entry, women must follow all rituals commanded by the religion or its denomination. But how can entry into a public place of worship be stopped? We round up our morning with fuel prices for the day. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.22 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.63 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 76.27 rupees per litre and diesel for 67.83 rupees per litre. 
In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.14 rupees per liter and diesel for 70.52 rupees per liter. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.71 rupees per liter and diesel at 72.01 rupees per liter.